Not a day goes by that we don't hear something about fossil fuels and being more energy independent. Research projects continue to focus on agriculture's role in the solution, whether it be ethanol or biofuels made from crops. Well, for one school district here in New Jersey, the research has long been a reality. Riding to school in Medford, New Jersey, these elementary students are beginning their day with a real-life demonstration on energy alternatives. And if you ask them, they'll tell you why their big yellow school buses are different. Biodiesel. Biodiesel. In the late 90s, the Medford Township School District decided to begin using biofuels in their buses. A B20 blend with 20% of the fuel mix created with biodiesel made from soybean oil. This is a farming community. This community, Medford Township, was based on an agricultural industry. Joe Billick is the Director of Operations and Technology for the Medford School District. He says with more than 400,000 school buses in the U.S., biodiesel provides an opportunity to be more energy efficient and support agriculture. We've consumed about 750,000 gallons of biodiesel. We've reduced uh, diesel emissions by some 120,000 pounds over the last uh, uh, 12 years. Our fleet expenses have been reduced by some $120,000 over the last 12 years. So you see that there's various layers of benefits to using biodiesel and alternative fuels. But learning about agriculture's role in creating energy alternatives doesn't end with riding the bus. Energy and the environment are often the topics of conversation in David Conlian's fifth grade class. What makes it renewable? Do you remember, Jess? Yeah, the fossil fuels are used from fossils, which are harder to get, but the, um, the biodiesel is made from plants and such stuff. How many of you would say you know something about biodiesel? The buses are healthier because we're putting healthier fuel into them. The biodiesel is better for them and that allows the engines to run smoother, um, to be less strained, to run longer, to last longer. I learned that they, they have to cr like crush the, so the soybeans to get all the oil at, out and then they turn the oil into like this orange stuff to, that is biodiesel. I want to introduce uh, Mr. Steve McCracken. As part well, of the, the studies, outside speakers today, visit the classrooms. Aren't, aren't. The importance of biodiesel is, is we're starting to use products, and we're able to use products that are, are created here in America from our farms. We're able to use and create more product and more value from products that are grown right here in the United States. The biofuel blend creates another distinction as the buses roll down the road. It smells really good and it smells like french fries. French fries! But Medford schools aren't the only place you'll find biofuels made from soybeans. Locals use it to power their vehicles, even heat their homes. It's important for our community. Um, it's important for our children. Uh, it's better for the air. It's better for, for the environment. And, and I think as a responsible thing to do for both us and the community, uh, it's, it's a wonderful uh, way to go. State and federal tax breaks along with incentive programs have encouraged the use of biofuels in school districts nationwide. A focus on energy from plants and not petroleum. When I ride on the bus knowing that it's running on biodiesel fuel, it, it feels good because I'm make, it's making the earth better for everybody. Thank you for